Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming, and obviously it's been a while, and kind of unexpectedly at that, so I'm back with a proper update video to share with you guys where I've been for the last few months. Now, right off the bat, despite having posted this video, I didn't expect to go away immediately or anything. Actually had a deck profile lined up for March, and that's around the time, outside of Yu-Gi-Oh!, I decided to spend some time at my brother's apartment. It was a lot of fun hanging out with him, getting closer to him. I mean, we were already very close, but you know, it's a different kind of experience being in the same spot again, kind of like being roommates again, and uh, just getting away from usual life as it was. But um, there wasn't really a good way to record at that location. I tried. There's a highway right outside the back door on this first floor complex, and I even tried getting like a portable ring light and going in the closet, but just it wasn't up to the quality standards that I wanted for the channel. Plus, when I came home on weekends or whatever, I didn't really feel like rushing just to get a video done in those instances, so JD Gaming kind of just took a back seat while that was going on. Then, as summer began and everything was heating up with projects and stuff, I had a good level of redecorating happening in my room. I actually got a bunch of new furniture, including a nice standing desk that I'm recording on right now. Uh, should be very good for future editing and all that. I don't have to sit for like three hours in one sitting. And just uh, overall, I reorganized everything in the room, so uh, for the entire month of June, the kind of studio, if you can call it that, for JD Gaming simply wasn't in any working condition. Like, the floors were constantly covered with stuff, and it, like I just had no space to do anything. So, I pushed things off for another bit over the summer. Once that was over, I had an awesome chance to volunteer with my local school's beginner orchestra program. And those of you who've been around for the channel for a bit probably know I have a second channel where I post cover songs of my own violin and viola record and have complimentary drawings to go with them, and I've continued to do that with some frequency all throughout this time. But the special thing with this volunteering is that it's the same program that I personally started with 17 years ago in starting to play violin, and a lot of time had passed since I last volunteered with the program like eight years ago or something. It was back when I was still in high school and basically just having graduated. And since that time, a new director took over, and this was after after I had one person in charge of the program through my entire K through 12 experience, basically, uh, with them, or I guess it's a uh, fourth grade through 12th grade experience. Um, but in any case, uh, went through all of college and worked for a couple years out of college after that. And between all this, I frankly didn't know if I'd ever get the chance to go back just because personnel change, my life changes, it was just a bit different to do that. But, um, you know, if you really want to do something, the opportunity can, in fact, come around if it's something that you're still interested in. And I'm really fortunate and glad to have been able to help some new kids with what might become a lifelong musical journey, just as so far, it looks like it's going to be for myself. And then I was actually going to post this update video after that in August, but a handful of friends that I've been mates with since at least high school, most actually since elementary school, went on a hiking trip that we had planned for over a year since before COVID pretty much um, in the mountains at Glacier National Park. This was a very fun experience catching up with childhood buddies and obviously feeling exhausted after a week of 20,000 plus steps daily. Our peak was like double that actually, 40,000 steps on one day. And just this last month in September, uh, after returning from that, I got to work with that same orchestra program, but this time I got to play in the pit orchestra for a musical production of Cinderella, which is another first for me, and that was a ton of fun as well. So along all this time, I had a ton of opportunities to enjoy other hobbies besides the big ones that I described. I got to go through some games and anime and my never-ending backlog, because you know how that is. You take out one thing and then you add on another few and then you never really catch up. But I also got to start and maintain a figure collecting Instagram on a pretty regular basis, a few times a week, which was kind of my new dedicated creative outlet that reminded me of the early days of starting 
this channel, JD Gaming, connecting with like-minded individuals, just being able to hang out and enjoy another hobby, all around good fun, and you know, whereas this was my outlet to do that with Yu-Gi-Oh, I've never really had that chance to do that for other things, you know, games, anime, that kind of thing, because you guys already know from the other channel that I really do enjoy these things, I love the creative aspect of things, and it was the first time I've been able to really find just like friends in general who like this stuff as opposed to, you know, like the, the honor student friends that I kind of grew up with all these years ago. So that was fun in its own right there. And uh, in short, uh, it was a really fun experience just being able to do a bunch of different things. And as far as Yu-Gi-Oh goes, I played a lot of other formats besides just, you know, advanced format mainstream Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, my buddy actually came back to me, a different guy, but uh, we were also friends since elementary school. And he's like, hey, you want to do a progression series? I'm like, yeah, that sounds pretty fun. So uh, we decided to start with Lost Millennium just to spice things up. We actually just entered Master Rule 5 this week and it's been a very cool experience just each week looking forward to regular Yu-Gi-Oh! every Wednesday. It's not something I've always had because locals have always closed down near my town wherever I was so uh, this was nice just being able to kick back and relax and enjoy that and I started like my fourth Duel Links account or something. I've been a lot more consistent this time but every time I start Duel Links I basically start wondering yeah this is fun but like why aren't I playing real Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, in this case it was kind of accidentally discovering that King of the Feral Imps is in the game, as is Gigabyte, Star Drawing, all those cards. So I was like, I can build Magical Reptile Succeed Spam. So uh, that's the main thing I've been playing. It's been a lot of fun, but um, of course, once we get the new Duel Simulator for the Master Duel, it should be uh, pretty interesting to see. Maybe that will become the main thing that I do. Um, but in any case, uh, it was a lot of fun just being able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! as a hobby that it really is in my life for the first time in years. I kind of mentioned this before in a recent video, recent, uh, if you skip that gap, but uh, when I first started this channel and didn't have specific ideas of what I wanted out of it, Yu-Gi-Oh! ended up becoming a much more focal point in my life because who knows, the channel could get big. I don't know how things are gonna happen. And I personally think a lot of good came from it, but the biggest kind of collateral damage, if you will, that came from this is it became my main hobby among what you can see I have as a bunch of other hobbies and it kind of took center stage when maybe it didn't quite have to so you know I'm not going to spend time regretting or anything I definitely think it was an overall awesome experience but it certainly is you know still one of my biggest hobbies but not my only hobby and it really took the realizations I had in that last video where I talked about this as well as these few months away from it to really let that sink in in. That said, I definitely missed building decks, recording videos, and interacting with you guys above all else, and you know, I never really officially left, but because I took some time off, I just wanted to catch up with you guys, let everyone know what's been happening. It's been very touching to see a lot of familiar names around here as I just peeked back in over the last few days, so thank you guys very much once again for all your support. It does mean a lot to me. And I'll be back with a new deck profile in the coming days, probably on or before the new format. It's not really affected by the new ban list or anything, so just sometime around there. That's kind of my deadline goal uh, for right now. And uh, yeah, I look forward to continuing this channel from a hobbyist's perspective, which is kind of the general trend I've been heading towards as of the last few videos. So that's pretty much it. Feel free to chat with me in the comments if you'd like. Uh, it'd be cool to see some of you guys around again if I haven't spoken with you already. And if you're new, welcome. Uh, let's see how this all goes. So thank you guys very much for watching as always. This is JD Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you very soon with another video. Oh yeah, uh, also the ban list was kind of a random gift with that second e Uh It had absolutely no bearing on me coming back here, as you can kind of see I was planning this return since like August, but uh, yeah, um, it, it's, it's a nice present from Konami.